Here in this video, we are solving a problem on Newton law of cooling. Let me read out the problem first. A body who is at a temperature of 100 degrees centigrade brought into a room of 20 degrees centigrade. So what is the information given for you in the problem? Let's write down here. Temperature of the body is given as 100 degrees centigrade. Temperature of the surroundings is given as 20 degrees centigrade. I want you to remind you that you need not actually convert them into Kelvin. Now it is being said to cool from 100 to 80 degrees centigrade it has taken 10 minutes. Let's talk about that part first. You know as per the Newton law, loss of law of cooling the rate of law of temp rate of loss of temperature is directly proportional to temperature difference between the body and surroundings. Of course a negative sign is a symbolic way to say there is a loss of the heat loss of the temperature. We can eliminate the proportionality with some constant k, temperature of the body minus surroundings. So as per given case, as per the given case, from 100 to 80, it takes 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes. Let's take that numbers into this uh, equation. Rate of loss of temperature. Change in temperature is from where to where? 100 to 80. That means 80 means I have to write. DT means I have to write 100 minus 80 by time 10 minutes. I will take it in minutes so that the other part is also will be in minutes. Minus K is a constant. Temperature of the body is first 100 and then 80. That means I shall take temperature of the body as average of the two temperatures, 100 and 80. So average is 100 plus 80 by 2. Minus temperature of surroundings is given for you in the problem as 20. So if you simplify this further, 100 minus 80 is 20 by 10 minutes equal to minus k. 100 and 80 is 180, 180 by 2 is 90, 90 minus 20. This is equation number 1. That's the first case given for you in the problem. Let's look at the second case. How much time further it takes to cool from 80 to 60 degree? Earlier from 100 to 80. Now he want in case 2. What he has given is to cool from 80 degree centigrade to 60 degree centigrade how much time it takes how much time it takes that's the question let's put this also into the same possible equation that we have dt change in temperature in this case is 80 minus 60 by time earlier it was 10 minutes now I don't know how much. Let me say x minutes equal to constant into temperature of the body 80 to 60. So I shall take the average of that two 80 and 60. They were kept in the same surroundings like earlier case. So that is same 20. So if I simplify this 80 minus 60 is 20 by x minutes equal to minus k 80 and 60 is 140, 145 is 70, 70 minus 20. This is equation number 2. I have equation number 1 and equation number 2. Let's divide that 1 by 2. And let us see what it gives for you. 1 is 20 by 10 minutes. Other is 20 by x minutes. Equal to right hand side of the 1 is minus k of 90 minus 20. For the second case, minus k of 70 minus 20. Let us simplify that further. What happens? 20 by 10 minutes into x minutes by 20 equal to minus minus cancels k and k also cancels 90 minus 20 by 70 minus 20 minutes, minutes cancels, 20, 20 cancels, x is remaining. 90 minus 20 is 70. 70 minus 20 is 
of 50. So, x is equal to 70 divided by 50. Sorry, I have missed one thing. This 10 I have missed. 20, 20 cancelled, minute, minute cancelled, but x by 10 is there. 90 minus 20 is 70, 70 minus 20 is 50. So, x by 10 is equal to 7 by 5. 5 is 2 times of 10. That implies x equal to 7 into 2. That is 14 in minutes. That's the answer for the problem. But I want you to understand the answer little carefully and see what is the meaning of Newton law of cooling. See the answer carefully. See the question carefully. For the body to cool from 100 to 80, it has taken 10 minutes. When the surroundings is 20. That means when the body temperature is 100, when the surroundings is 20, the difference between them is more. How much is that? That is actually 80 degree centigrade. In that case, it has taken a time of 10 minutes to cool. See the next case. See in the first case, the temperature loss is 100 to 80 is 20. In the second case also, the loss of temperature 80 to 60, that is also 20. But the surroundings are at a 20. So, now the difference between surroundings and body is not as high as the earlier case. Earlier delta t is the first case. Here delta t is the second case. Delta t1 is actually greater than delta t2 that is between the body and surroundings. So, as in the first case temperature difference is more, the loss happened quickly in 10 minutes. But in second case, as the temperature difference is less between the body and surroundings, to fall to the same 20 degree centigrade, it has not taken 10 minutes, but it has taken much more than 10 minutes, 14 minutes. That's what the Newton law of cooling tells you that if temperature difference between body and surroundings is more, rate of loss of temperature is more. That's what the Newton law of cooling tells you most importantly. That's the meaning of Newton law of cooling. I want you to understand the meaning of Newton law of cooling. 100 to 80, 10 minutes. 80 to 60, 14 minutes. For the same loss of 20 degrees, first 10 minutes was taken, but later as the surroundings temperature and the body temperature are less different, the it has taken more time that is 14 minutes that's how you need to understand the newton law of cooling thank you for watching